rubbing alcohol? Is it the salvation of Nintendo games? Or is it their very destruction? Many people go back and forth over the merits or demerits of rubbing alcohol. Personally, I think it's a great cleaner, especially when combined with Brasso first. But anyway, that's for another time. I am going to test what happens to this Jackal cartridge, which I have three of these. Somehow or another, I've gained three of them in my video game collecting or Nintendo collecting. But anyway, so yes, I'm going to open this up. Before I open this up, let's see if it works, because there's no point in testing it if it doesn't work. Alright. Great. Play with my uh, Famicom controller for just a second, just see how it works. And they show off my controller that I rigged. Yeah, game works. Okay, anyway. Uh, sorry about the camera going everywhere. I have taken the liberty of already removing all but one of the 3.8 security bits. So as soon as this is removed, I'm going to submerge this in alcohol for an undetermined amount of time. Right. And I'm not going to put the whole game in because I don't want to screw up the sticker. There's no point in that. I might have three of them, but no point messing it up. All right, so there we go. Let's get this good and submerged. All right, that is completely under alcohol. All right, let's seal this off. And let's check the date. Wow, that's not easy to read. Well, it's July the 6th. But, lest you trust my crappy cell phone, July the 6th. I am going to refresh just to verify. And yeah, rhetorically, this is known as ethos when I uh, appeal to our shared values as video gamers. So, this is where is it? Aha, July 6th. Okay, so fare thee well, Jackal. I will come back for you in a week or so. Alright, cool. Rock on YouTube video gamers.